Just wanted to show you guys a little project I'm working on. This path did not used to be here. I have cut this by hand um, and I just come out and make it a little bit longer every day. You guys have seen the camp there before. That's actually where I showed you one of my corner posts for that the surveyor put in and then you see the white 550 cord going off up there. Uh, so there's one camp right there that I've dug in and camped at before. And then I've been slowly cutting this trail through the land to try to find an alternate way uh, to drive up to the top. Because the, the land neighbor originally said I could use his trail to get up there, and now he's reneged. He's changed his mind. So I've got this big boy down right here, and I brought a logging chain um, to pull that out of the way with the Forerunner. And then my plan is to continue the trail up there. But it gets to one point where I think it's too steep. So I may not be able to get the, the driving trail all the way to the top, but we'll get as far back into this draw as we can go. And then probably have a nice camp back in there. Well, step one is to get this guy out of the way. All right, we'll get to work on that. Well, you can at least see that that was cut all the way through. Um, that's rotten. So I probably could have just hooked the chain up, pulled it, and saved myself some sawing and cutting. And now, uh, the rest of this piece, I should be able to drag to the side and then keep moving my path up that way. I'm gonna leave, so I don't know if I've told you guys before, but um, I do cut, yeah, I'm positive I've told you this. In one of my hatchet videos, a guy got mad because I was cutting live trees, and I explained that this was my land and I'll cut stuff that is wrist size or smaller um, to help with the older growth. 
And if I need to clear trail to get to different parts of my land, I can do that just looking up through there. I can do that without cutting anything bigger than wrist size. Uh, there may be a tree right here. That's dead standing. There may be a tree right here that's a little bit bigger than wrist size. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep moving this stuff out of the way until we have our trail all the way up. There we go. And then we can use this stuff later for building material. Well, stuff that isn't rotten. We're obviously not going to use the rotten stuff for building materials. There's a stump right here I need to do a bit more work on so I don't run over it. That's I think I may have. But yeah, now we're, now that that's out of the way, there's another 15 feet of trail that way. Probably end up cutting down this guy that you can't see, that guy, and then just working my way up. I've done a little more clearing. And I'm exhausted. The land out here is very rocky. I think I'm gonna use these two raised bed with or something or a bush wall that's probably gonna fall right on my camera so this is one of the ones this is a uh, I want to say it's a beech tree but it's got the uh, it's got the sinewy ropes like ironwood. So this actually might be an ironwood tree. Um, but there's some rot down here at the roots. And then the branches are dying on the way up. So I'm gonna take this guy down and hopefully it doesn't hit the camera because it's kind of angled that way. So this might be fun to watch. <clears throat> chain would be the easiest. I don't know if you guys saw any sparks flying, but I've hit quite a few rocks with the hatchet. Quite a few rocks with a hatch. So, this is the way the trail needs to go. It's extremely rocky. I do not condone carrying your hatchet unmasked when the terrain is this hazardous. This is one of those do as I say, not as I do things I tell my kids because whenever 
inevitably you get hurt, somebody's going to say, told you so, you know you shouldn't have done that, you weren't supposed to do that, I don't see my, I don't even see my mask, problem is it's camouflage, let's see, what next? This is the thing that needs to go. So, but it needs to go out from the root if I'm going to drive over it. So, maybe I'll work on the root for a little while and then yeah I'm just gonna work on the root for a little while and then see what happens talking about you can see right here the work I did to prep it this big root right there this big root right there and then came right out. I actually thought it was holding this up, but that stayed up there. So the next task is to take that Widowmaker down and uh, yeah. So I was worried there was gonna be a big tap root on this guy, but uh, it wasn't. Looks like they ran. Well, you know what? I should have known that because the ground is so rocky here. Um, they run parallel to the ground because they can't go down into the rock layer. All right. I'm going to push that bad boy to the side and continue on my trail. Take down some of these small smaller things right here 
probably going to do, well, I don't know. There's not even really a reason to touch those. I think the next thing is that big guy. And I guess I'm, I don't know, I'll saw some of the big pieces off of it and then just start trying to drag it. See what happens. Okay, I've done a lot more cutting. It was dangerous, ugly, hard work. And I didn't want my death to be captured on video. That's where we pulled the tree. I removed the rest of the stump from there. And then um, you see all of those big pieces of dead tree. That's this guy. So there was a big branch hanging off of that. I got that pulled down. That was sticking way out here. Uh, I chopped it off there and I thought that was gonna make it fall. I chopped another branch off under there, so it looks like that's the last thing holding it up. Maybe this tree a little bit. Um, I don't want to back the forerunner up to it and pull on that because that's still stretching out a little too far. So I think I'm gonna try to take one of these wild grapevines, loop it over the top of that, and see if I can pull some more off of that. Um, we have a grapevine right here. Might be able to loop over this. Yeah. And you might touch my death on camera. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now I'm just gonna kind of pull ah, on this. Get it closer to the end. Oh, not that close to the end. All right. There we go. Ah. All right. Huh. That's not working. So, I don't guess that wants to come off yet. Uh, well, a little bit of it does. Ah. Ah, I think I ripped my nipple off. Ah. All right. I think that right there is what's holding it, but I don't want to cut that and then have that thing fall on me. I mean, I guess I could... cut into this guy a little bit, but... I mean, this tree is huge. I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but... like... this, this chunk that's up there right here at the base is as big around as my waist this part here I don't even know if I'm in frame is as big as my chest and it looks like it's just being held on that but I don't want to there's nobody out here I don't want this thing to crush me and like I said, I don't want to back up with the Forerunner. I mean, I could try to wrap the chain around this, but I think it's just going to break this log off, and that's still going to be there. I don't want to put it under there and have that fall on the Forerunner. So, decisions, decisions. stone here but I keep slipping on it it's uh well I say it's a lot of good stone it's like uh slate I think it's slate I don't know for sure don't quote me on that um but I mean I just started this new trail a couple of weeks ago and it is it's going nicely, but I'm cutting it all by hand. Now granted, I used the forerunner to pull some stuff out, but I don't have like a backhoe up here or a chainsaw or anything like that. This is 
this whole trail. This was all woods. And I've cut this trail in by hand. This is actually a really good campsite right here for hammock camping. Um, you might be able to, there's some flat ground over there. Uh, might be able to get a tent in there. But the flattest ground is up at the top where you guys have seen before. So. shouldn't walk under it just in case yeah see that's I mean that the end there is very dead but I still couldn't pull it down see this looks really dead but it's so thick that you saw you see right here had to cut that all the way through, it would not break. I really... Really... Would like that to fall today. Found a... Uh, Snail shell. I didn't break it, it was already broken. Oh. And of course, I didn't stop. I kept going all the way to the top through the rain and still didn't get this guy down, but I kind of like him as a seat. Put this thing through its paces. I'm gonna have to re edge this at this point. It would be faster for me to punch down the trees than to hack it with this thing. And with all this rain, I gotta get out of here before I get struck by lightning. All right guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, do what you do, and I'll see you on the ridge.